I welcome you all to Pebbles. In today's class, we are going to see a very interesting chapter that is fraction. Okay. Um, so before I enter into the class, I just want to ask you some uh, small uh, questions. Uh, do you know what is fractions? Okay. I'll explain. Fractions. What is a fraction? Fractions represents a part of a whole. A fraction show part of one whole thing or a group. Fraction represents a part of a whole. A fraction show a part of one whole thing or a group. A fraction show a part of one whole thing or a group. For an example, I just want to show a small example. Look at this. What is this children? This is a chalk piece. So it is a whole thing. It is it is a whole thing. So fraction represents a part of a whole. A fraction show a part of one whole thing or a group. This is the meaning of fraction. So uh, it is a chalk piece. It is a whole thing. It is a single chalk piece. Now I cut into equal halves. What are you going to say? How do you call this? You can call it as half a chalk piece. So half means what is this? 1 by 2. 1 by 2. So this is a what? Fraction. So this is called fraction. So fraction represents a part of a whole. So it represents a part of a whole. There are two pieces but we have taken only one piece. So 1 by 2. So fraction represents a part of a whole. A fraction show part of one whole thing or a group. So before that you look at the chalk piece. It is made up. It is a single chalk piece. It is a whole thing. After that I cut into equal parts. Then you can you can say it half a chalk piece. How do you say half, half a chalk piece? So that is called as fraction. I have told you. This example is 1 by 2. And fractions are made up of two numbers. It's made up of two numbers. How many numbers? Two numbers. Fraction. Fraction is made up of, I have written already, made up of two numbers. Two numbers. That is what I have written in the chart. Two numbers. One is a bottom number, other one is a top number. This is a top number and this is a bottom number. Okay, bottom number. Top number and bottom number. So top number it is called as what? Numerator and bottom number it is called as a denominator. So top number that is called as top number is numerator. Numerator. N U N G R A T O R numerator and bottom number bottom number it is denominator that is denominator d n o m i d nominator denominator so for this top number is 1 and this top number the bottom number is 2 so top number 1 is a numerator and bottom number 2 is a denominator so i'll repeat once again what is we are going to see we are going to discuss about fraction Fraction, what is fraction? First you must know the meaning of fraction. Fraction represents a part of a whole and fra a fraction shows a part of one whole thing or a group. And fractions are made up of two numbers, a top number and bottom number. Top number called as a numerator and bottom number is called as a denominator. So that I have given example 1 by 2 as a top number. 1 is a top number and 2 is a bottom number. For example 3 by 5 what is this is a top number and this is a bottom number. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. 4 by 6 so 4 is a top number and 6 is a bottom number. This is a numerator and this is a 4 is a numerator and 6 is a denominator. 8 by 10. So this is a top number and this is a bottom number. So top number it is a numerator and bottom number is a denominator. So I think you understand the concept very clear. So next we, we are going to see what are the important things that is what are the objectives of fractions. So we have already seen as numerator and denominator. Now we are going to see uh, what are the types of fractions. What are the types of fractions.